Yeah, this weekend is our 20th annual TAPS Military Survivor Seminar. Is this your husband? Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been? Eight months. Oh, honey. And it's Memorial Day weekend. It's a weekend when all of us who have lost a loved one in the military come together to kind of take care of each other. You have a really, really good weekend. Okay. Let's you. Know. In 2005, my husband died by suicide. He was a um, active duty Marine pilot. He flew covers and he flew in Iraq. He flew 75 combat missions. Um, and when I tried to talk to him about over there, you know, he didn't want to bring all of that home. And he felt it was a part of him now, but he didn't want to bring it into the house. So I, in a way, he, I think he felt like he was broken. So after his death, you know, my kids and I really struggled to figure out how we were going to go forward after, after his death. The first thing that was hard was trying to figure out how to tell the kids. Um, his, their dad was their hero, their coach, you know, really their mentor. And here he had come back safely from a combat tour, but yet taken his own life. These families are our future, and they are special families. They are families who have served and sacrificed. They're the 1% who have said, you know, I will protect the country. I will stand up and put my life on the line. But when they've had a trauma like this, they are at risk themselves. The children of these guys, the spouse, the parent. It was about a year after my husband's death, but I, I forced my kids to come. They really did not want to come. And so when I got here, they were immediately greeted with therapy dogs that they patted. And then um, as I was, you know, filling out the registration stuff, I look over and my little boy, the youngest one who was eight, was sitting under a table with another little boy who was dressed fully in Marine Corps garb. And they were knee to knee. And I heard the little boy say to my son, my dad died. And I hear my boy say, my dad died too. And then they said, want to play football? And they immediately started to play. The Weisses are a perfect example of families who are an amazing family, who really lost their son to injuries of war, right, and have, have taken this loss and made meaning out of it. The reality is, is that as I was free falling, her voice stopped me from falling. Yeah. yeah. And I was able to dangle on a string for a while until yeah. I found that there were other people like us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the uh, the what they used to call invisible injuries, yeah. which I now call uh, just They're, look harder look injuries. Look harder for them. They're there. They're That's there. Right. I want us to embrace the veterans coming back. And then let's take care of the ones that do have the injuries and illness and really wrap our arms around them because we'll all be better off if we do.